Hey guys, Isaac from New York City Guitar School. Today, I'm gonna show you how to play All Apologies by Nirvana. Super cool riff. Let's get the tuning out of the way. If you wanna play along with Nirvana and uh, or follow along with me, you're gonna have to tune, do two things with the tuning. One, E flat standard, and then just that means just go down half a step on every string and then do like a drop D thing where your sixth string and your fourth string are tuned to the same pitch. If you're using a tuner, this uh, your sixth string is gonna be to C sharp. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get started. Starting from the fifth string, I'm gonna show you a really simple version and then we'll make it sound more like the song. So it's gonna be fifth string. Right, you're just using these frets, nine, 10, 12, and then back to 10 and nine. And then you start again. But you you finish that phrase by going down to the fourth string and playing through the same frets. And then again the first part. And then finish on the third string by sliding from 10 to 11 really quick. 9. And then on the fourth string 12 with your pinky. So the whole thing slowly. So now to make it sound more like the song, what Kurt is doing is playing this open six and letting it ring out. To be honest with you, the pattern he does is a little bit random. It's never really the same every single cycle that he plays this. So what I've decided I'm gonna show you is just letting it ring out on the first one. So for those first two downstrokes of every phrase, you're gonna get the six string in there and let it ring out like this. And then again. Again. Now the riff at speed. And that's gonna get you through the verses. Now for the chorus, very easy power chord here. I'm not gonna bother with chord names, just play the fifth fret power chord on the sixth and fifth string. The cool thing is because you're doing a drop D, you can do fifth fret with your third finger or first finger, whatever you prefer. I like my third finger because I'm gonna go to an A next. So third finger on the sixth and fifth string on the fifth fret. And then finish with an open A chord. You can play it with a, a half a bar kind of thing with your first finger. So you have the open A string and then you have the fourth, third and second string as well with your first finger. Or you can play with three fingers like this. Really whatever you prefer, I just like this one better. And then back to your main riff after that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions or requests, please put those down in the comments section. I'll catch you on the next one.